Oh yes, I, well, I was on the train, I was going from Crewe to Edinburgh and uh, I was reading my newspaper and uh, the train at Crewe, a gentleman gets in with a dirty big suitcase and uh, he puts it on the seat and I'm reading the newspaper I think, God, that, he'll have to put that up on the rack or something so he does, he puts it up on the rack and then the train pulls out and I'm still reading the newspaper, I've got the obituary I can't see anybody anyway, the uh, the guy pulls this dirty big cake suitcase and puts it onto the and gets a dirty big bunch of keys out and unders the suitcase, opens the lid, and then pulls one of these tins out, which turns to be tomato soup. He undoes the tin and produces a plate and puts it on there. By well, this time, I put the newspaper down. And to cut a long story short, between there and the next <coughs> stop, this guy is uh, puncturing all these tins emptying the contents onto the plate, then pulling the strap on the train carriage, throwing it out, the window. like that, and uh, I think, that's all right, what, he must be a bit cracked this way. Anyway, then he proceeds with a, yeah, corkscrew, and he gets a dirty big lump of string and pushes it through all these tins, until he's got a load of tins and uh, starts swinging it round his head. I think I'd better get out of this carriage. So uh, I turned to him and I said, uh, I said, what's that? He said, that's a tiger catcher. I said, well, there aren't any tigers in Edinburgh. And he pulls the strap up, throws it out, and he said, well, that won't be any good then, will it? 